tell you, I used to be a hater of technology, and I have suddenly become a lover of technology. Without technology, we wouldn't be able to have camp this year. Last year, the kids missed out because of COVID. This year, I was not going to let another year go by, so how do we do that? Do we do the Zooms that I've been seeing and being a part of? And I was nervous about it, to be honest with you, because I thought, is it going to work? We went global this year, so what technology has given the camp is we have been able now to reach kids in Ireland. We have Philippines, we have UK. We have eight countries and 22 cities this year. Well, this year is very unique because I'll, I'll be honest with you, if I'm being totally honest, I didn't want to do it, you know. Um, I'm so tired of the Zooms and the whole thing and it's quite exhausting. But Kristen was pretty adamant about it. And when Kristen gets, you know, I call her the business woman, when she goes business on me, uh, and she wanted it to happen. I said, you know, and I got on, we had a whole team, you know, her dad, all our head faculty and stuff. I said, I'll do it if it's the best it can be, if there are no limitations, if we have full access to everything, because we skipped a year. And so, and it's fiscally, you know, risky, and there's money involved, because it's one thing to have students come to a campus, but it's another thing to get technologically prepared, which costs money to meet the world. And also being in other auditions, they're gonna decide where you fit in the cast. Mm -hmm. So just show up and do your best. I've even worked with Mayork at a time where she was casting a chorus line. Um, I went to an open call for Grease. It was the musical Grease in 1994. Was anybody alive then? Um, probably not. Um, and I went to an open call and we got to be on the stage. Like the callback was on the Broadway stage. I'm gonna give you these lyrics in here, okay? And, Thank you. And, and again, I, I wish you would think about the chords I'm giving you because just because you know them all, I know them all too, doesn't mean you have to throw them all in like the kitchen sink. Oh, now, same thing. We're gonna now, we're gonna stand in first position. When you plie, make sure your knees go out over your feet. Here we go, one arm. One arm, it's a demi plie. Open. In each room, just like we had live, are different classes. Kids can audit classes, say they didn't make it or they didn't know about it, they can come now and audit the class. They can come audit the final night that we have the Christie Awards. And I've had, as you've seen, a lot of my way more famous friends come and speak and teach. So it's, it's though it's immersive, obviously still, it's still class. The weirdest thing about camp, if I had to pick out one thing is, you know, we're New Yorkers. I mean, I live in Miami now, but you know, I've got a 45 year career. I don't know, we come away changed. It's really weird. I go home, I'm emotional. I feel a whole a lot of gratitude for things. And I realize I'm doing something every day in my life that, that these people want to do. And you know, when I started my career, there were hundreds of us. Now there's thousands of them. I don't know if I would have made it, you know what I mean? So we're not educators. Uh, we're not psychologists, we're not teachers, we are professionals. And so what we're here to do is build their spirit, their confidence, and point them in the right direction. And can I just say this? It's so much bigger than camp. These kids are writing to us and telling us their stories. And sometimes it's not always pretty, it's not always happy. But we are being able to be there in a way, I think, that we couldn't before. I just really want kids to feel loved and accepted for who they are. Um, I don't want anybody to feel judged. I think they're feeling safer to be able to talk. You know, we have, we have an hour of gratitude at the end of every night that's filmed where they can type about and, and speak and pick and, and speak up and say, this is what I learned today, or this was why this day was so hard, or this is why this day was so important. And more kids are getting to know it, not less. It's a friendly competition, but they'll say, yes, you know what, you nailed it this time, or don't feel bad, I did the same thing the other day. And they're, because they're able to do it simultaneously while the class is going on chatting. That makes me happy.